Hi, kindergarten. Today our story is about um, the empty tomb. So, when Jesus was here on earth, he did many wonderful things for people. He made the blind people see. He healed disabled people so they could walk again. He taught people about God. Jesus loved people very much, and many, many people loved him. But not everyone loved Jesus. Some of the leaders hated Jesus. In fact, they wanted to get rid of him. They didn't like that so many men and women and even children wanted Jesus to be their leader. These angry people said, if we let Jesus be like this, everyone will believe in him and we won't be in charge anymore. These people decided to arrest Jesus and to kill him. And Jesus let them arrest him and they, he let them kill them. Even though these people were doing something very, very bad, Jesus knew that God would turn their plans into something very, very good. Jesus knew the reason he had come to earth was to take the punishment for all the wrong things that people had ever done and would ever do. Jesus knew that God was in charge of what was happening. So Jesus let these people kill him on a cross. It was a sad day for Jesus' friends, and they put Jesus' body in a tomb in a garden. A tomb is a little room in the side of the hill where they would bury people. They left Jesus' body in the tomb, and they rolled a big rock in front of it, in front of the opening. On the first day of the week, some women, who were Jesus' friends, were walking sadly by the garden where the tomb was. Their wonderful friend Jesus was dead. But when the women got to the tomb, God had a surprise for them. The huge rock in front of the opening had been moved. Jesus' body was gone. Suddenly the women saw angels and angel, angels in bright robes. Why are you looking for Jesus here? the angel asked. Jesus is not dead. He is alive. He has risen as he said he would. Now the woman remembered Jesus had told them. He would die but would rise again and live again. As they went to tell others, Jesus met them on the road and said, Be full of joy. The women got down on their knees in front of Jesus and worshipped him. They weren't sad anymore, but they were very happy. They got up and they ran to share the good news with Jesus' other friends. Jesus is alive, they said. And Jesus is alive.